in this video i'm going to cover what sort of materials are needed to be in place so that the footing can be done okay what you're seeing right now is the foundation digging that was completed and we had to call the inspector he looked at what was done and he approved this stage already so what we need to do is to put concrete and cement um, um, at the bottom part here if you missed out some of the nuggets that the inspector shared, you may need to listen to them because he shared a lot of good nuggets. Check out the previous video that I've actually done on that. It is very important that you look at it. So now, there is concrete that needs to be put here. So the first thing that we need to check that is available is the stones, okay? Because they're going to be using stones and the stones are available right there. And the other thing that I need to check and make sure that it's available is adequate water okay so um so yeah we checked that there is adequate water in this well okay as you can see that he is actually fetching the water so one thing that was not here it was the tin this is zero tin again okay it was that tin okay the six is fine it was that tin we had to buy and then we had to buy that rope as well so that we can actually um fetch water from the well there is enough water to complete the building. We have actually checked the water that is in there. And we also bought some buckets. Those are buckets that he's actually using. So what's gonna happen is that we're going to be put we're going to put water in those buckets and we're gonna fill up some drums. Okay, so as you can see at this place, what we need to do, the whole idea is that we uh let me just see if I can go up here. Okay. Okay. Uh okay so the whole idea of the drums here we bought four drums and these drums can be opened from the uh from the top the whole idea is that we fill up these drums like um during the night before we go home so that early in the morning we have got four drums that are filled with water including the water that is in the well uh so that we can finish up for that day so uh, let me just show you. We, go, we bought these drums in Mbare, in Mbare Musika. So as you can see, if we, I unlock this part, so this whole unit can be um, removed and then we can actually fill up water inside here. So in Mbare, these drums, we bought them for like $17 each. That was in Mbare. And uh, you have to also organize transport. It's a different cost um, altogether. So $17 each, it was about $17 each, and it's four of them. So that's another thing that you need to make sure that you have in place. And what I have right here is cement, okay? We have cement that is being delivered right now. Um, we need to make sure that we have enough cement that we have, that we are stocking in these rooms. And I'm going to show you the river scent, okay? Let me see. So that is the pit scent, which is different from... Um, from the rivers and the pit sand is used to lay bricks and I didn't know the difference initially but now that I'm working with these guys I now know the difference so um, if I go and look at the pit sand at the river sand I mean so this is the river sand uh, that is here that is going to be mixed with uh, cement and then it's going to be uh, stones as well and then there has to be adequate water okay there has to be adequate water and of course you need the builders to be doing that for you the reason why i wanted to do this video to share that you need to have um, for you in order to put footing you need to have these things in place it's simply because sometimes when you're when you're actually building you may forget something like one of the important things that really affects a lot of buildings in zimbabwe is adequate water so in this case that we are building here, what's going to happen is that the neighbor could have enough water. I'm going to be honest with you. They won't be able to give you in most instances. In most instances, they won't be able to give you water to build. You have to pay them. So there are some things that you need to, to uh, these things that need to be in place. That is stones, uh, river sand, cement, water, the builders and um, the drums if need be. With that out of the way, my name is Kuda. I'm on a mission. My mission is simple, is to learn what it takes to build. I'm just going to be recording all the stages and the processes as we build this project that is happening in Zimbabwe. I would love to hear your thoughts. What was it like when you were actually doing your footing? 
what was it like when you did your foundation when you were preparing to put uh, the concrete on the on the footing there what was it like for you please leave a comment in the comment section below if you ever if you are a professional builder just give us some of the tips that you have so that we can educate zimbabwe and we can educate the world with that out of the way thank you so much and bye for now